Alrighty guys, so now you might be wondering, I have some options on my WordPress theme that um, are just an overall kind of option, whether it be like changing the navigation header bar or you have a component on your site that's going to be on multiple pages um, that isn't necessarily connected to that template page. So for instance, right now on the front page, if we were to add a navigation in here, but put it in a different file, say we put it in the header. So let's move this to the header file. And put it here. You see it still shows up. Um, but this is will no longer be related to this front page template. So if we try to put something like um, some sort of field in here from, um, if we try to put some sort of field in here that is on this home page field group, this won't render because the page will render this first and then it'll come to front page and render all this and this is recognized as the front page, not the header file. So it won't pick up any of those settings. So we need to somehow create a some sort of theme options page that you may have seen on other WordPress themes before. That's kind of like a global standard for your whole website. And AC, uh, Advanced Custom Fields uh, lets you do this very easily. Um, and it's really awesome. So what you have to do is you have to come over here and if you go to the ACF documentation they have this uh, usage here um, you can just use this if you want to which will just load just a regular options page but in this um, code block here you can set um, the, the uh, title of the pages and then you can also do sub pages which we'll go into in the next video but I'm just gonna grab this and we're saying if the ACF add options page function exists, so that's basically looking for the plugin and then the plugin is, has that function somewhere. So if that exists, um, we want to run this function, which takes an array um, of all of these um, parameters, or not parameters, all these uh, key value pairs here. So we want the page title to be theme general settings. We want the menu title to be theme settings and you can change these um, based on what you uh, want for your theme. So if your theme has a name, you can say like theme, name, settings, whatever your theme name is. Um, so if we do that and we come back over to our uh, back end and we refresh, uh, you'll notice that now we have this tab here that says theme settings. If we click it, currently we have no field group set up to this. so we have nothing pointing to it. So let's go ahead and create a custom field group and we will call it uh, theme settings. And in here we will go ahead and add a field and let's say that you know in the theme settings we have our navigation bar which runs across the top of the site and we want to uh, make that kind of dynamic for anyone to kind of change the color of that navigation bar. We can come in here and say navigation um, background color. Okay, and now in your field type, we're actually gonna choose something called color picker, which is super awesome. So we're gonna choose the color for the navigation background. All right, and we're just gonna set the default value to black. Um, actually, you know what, we'll set it to white. And that's fine, so we're gonna say publish. Or first we have to actually say that we want this to be an options page down here. And this options page is theme settings. So we'll update this. So we come to theme settings you'll now see that we have this navigation background color selected and we've got this color here. Um, so let's go ahead and just make it like this nice blue color, blue green color, let's update that. Um, now let's come back into our theme and in the header page, you can come over here 
and you notice we have this nav tag here. So in this style tag, I'm going to say nav background color. Um, and here is when I'm going to actually load in the PHP. So PHP, the uh, field. Now this is going to be a little different because we actually have to um, specify where this field is. So right now we have it's a navigation background color, um, but we also need to tell it that it's an options page. So we have to say options as its second parameter so that it knows to look at the options page and look for this field somewhere in the options pages. Um, so now if we come back to our, uh, let's just make the width 100% so that we can see this. Um, now if we come back here and we reload, you'll see that that's our color right there. We have that color. Now if we come back and we say select color and say we want this nice orange color and say update and come back here, you can see that that color is now orange. Um, the only downside to this at the moment is that you will have to write um, anything that's dynamic in your styles, you will have to write that property uh, in a style tag. But you can write that wherever you want. If you wanted, you could even write it on here and say style and then say background and then put the PHP tag in and write it that way. Um, that, and just do inline styles, that works as well and then have the rest of your styles for everything else that isn't dynamic uh, in its own style sheet somewhere. Um, but it's not too bad of a trade-off if you want these things to be dynamic for uh, the user. So guys, that's uh, it for this video. In the next video, I'll show you guys how to make sub um, sub pages for your theme. So maybe you know you have your general settings here, and then you'd want uh, some sub pages like you see going on over here and you'd want you know a general section and then you'd also want maybe the navigation maybe the footer um, just different areas of your site for their global settings um, so definitely stay tuned for that video uh, if you like this content definitely like the video and if you have any questions leave a comment peace